Hello, my name is Fabrício Costa. I'm from the University of São Paulo in Brazil. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm going to show you the uterine artery doper technique for preeclampsia prediction in the first trimester of pregnancy. In a normal pregnancy, the trophoblasts early on in the first trimester invades the uh, muscular layer of the spiral arteries. And this invasion transforms a blood flow of high resistance before the pregnancy in a blood flow of low resistance. And this is a normal aspect in terms of placental sufficiency. However, in some patients, this trophoblast invasion is shallow. And the blood flow in the spiral arteries stays as a blood flow of high resistance throughout the pregnancy. And this is related with placenta insufficiency that's associated with preeclampsia, fetal growth restriction, placental abruption, and one third of preterm spontaneous labor. In the 80s, Professor Stuart Campbell described for the first time the association between abnormal trophoblast invasion with uterine artery Doppler. You can see in the picture above. Uh, the uterine artery Doppler when the normal trophoblast invasion happens, that this wave is characteristic of low resistance. In the picture below, you can see uterine artery Doppler characteristic of uh, a wave of high resistance that's related with abnormal trophoblast invasion in the first trimester. Nowadays, instead, second trimester uterine artery Doppler we can perform first trimester uterine artery Doppler, and this can be combined with other uh, biomarkers and maternal history to predict preeclampsia. The review of the anatomy is quite important in the first trimester. Uterine artery Doppler relates to the uterus at the level of the internal os, and this is the best point of insonation in the first trimester. Using the, uh, the I-800 series, you can see a pregnancy around 13 weeks that you can identify using color Doppler. Uh, the point uh, uh, of insonation in the uterine artery that's at the level of the internal os. When I'm performing it in the second and third trimester, the technique's different. We are using as reference the external elytic vessels and the crossing point between the uterine, uh, uterine artery and these vessels. Using again the I-800 series, you can identify the external elytic vessels and the uterine artery crossing above it, and this is the best point of insonation at this time of pregnancy. This work has published uh, some years ago uh, the technique how to perform uterine artery doppler in the first trimester, and there is a recommendation for this technique to be followed. The importance of the uh, first trimester uterine artery doppler and this is so important to perform a good technique in order to obtain a reliable mean, art, uh, mean arterial uh, uterine artery Doppler PI, because this is correlated with the mean arterial blood pressure and one of the two biomarkers, PAPE or PLGF and maternal history, in order to use this combined approach to predict uh, preterm preeclampsia. Using this approach, the detection rate for preterm preeclampsia is uh, around 75% with 10% false positive rates. For this high group of patients, if I'm starting aspirin before 16 weeks, I can prevent 60% of preterm preeclampsias. Thank you very much.